So, Grace, this weekend, Crystal Palace away. Tell us about the size of the challenge that awaits Sheffield United this weekend. I think it's going to be a really tough challenge. I think every game in this league is quite a tough game and I think you can get results anywhere against any team. I think it's just about the fine margins now for us to get those, to be on the right end of results and get those wins instead of maybe draws or losses. So I think, yeah, I think we need to really focus this weekend to try and get the three points and get the job done, really. Has that been the main reason by for the results recently because obviously you thumped Coventry and then since that time the results haven't been quite so. Yeah we haven't had, there's no shine away from it, we haven't had the best run of results at the moment. Um, I think yeah it's literally about for us at the moment especially just getting those fine margins right, believing in ourselves and just staying switched on for the full, the full 90 plus extra time whatever, whatever added on there is so I think it's, yeah just getting those fine margins right. Do you think that's become kind of an issue sort of upstairs, really, that needs addressing? Um, I think it is crucially important to be switched on for the whole duration. And I think at times, possibly throughout the season, it's not been, we haven't stayed switched on for the whole 90 minutes, it, whether it's been a poor first half, a poor second half, 10 minute spells. So I think, um, yeah, it's definitely something we're working on as a team to try and keep each other switched on throughout the whole game. Do you find that um, confidence has remained on a level throughout this period and that the, the, kind of the, the spirit is still there or are there a few kind of anxieties creeping in? I wouldn't say there's any anxieties. I think we've got quite a tough, mentally strong group of girls here at Sheffield. So I think obviously when, when you're on the back of three losses, there is, there is a tiny bit of doubt that might start creeping in, but I think We've got to all do our best as a team to just iron any doubt out and just, I think there is still a good belief within the squad and a good atmosphere at the moment that we can go out and believe in ourselves and get three points. Because mm. you, you guys are competing with certain things like the whole full-time, part-time thing, you know, if you play in Liverpool, what, what they have and what they have to deal with versus whatever the facilities are for, for the other teams too as well. So it's not just necessarily always set on the playing field. No, I think obviously being part-time has its disadvantages and especially when we're up against full, most of the teams in the league are full-time at the moment. So I think there is disadvantages, but I don't think we can use it as an excuse because here we have a great group of girls who could pretty much all be full-time if they wanted to. So I think it's not an excuse and I think we've got to go out and put on a good performance and do as well as we know we can and I know on any day when we do our best we'll compete with any team in this league.